Cutting off your pee pee willingly is not a sacrifice you have to make. Alright guys, welcome back to the channel. If you're new, my name is Bobby. Guys, today we're gonna react to Elena McLaughlin, the transgender MMA fighter that just defeated a real woman. I already reacted to him on my live stream, however you wanted an exclusive video, so here we go. Let's have a look. Elena McLaughlin has had to overcome many hurdles in her life and her career. It's a journey that only her have taken. Let's take a closer look at some of those sacrifices that she has had to make. <laughs> Cutting off your pee pee willingly is not a sacrifice you have to make. As early as I knew there was a difference between girls and boys, I knew that something was different. As soon as I found out there is a difference between boys and girls, I knew there was something different. Big brain time. In South Carolina, my upbringing was not exactly standard it wasn't usual my parents go to church five times a week it wasn't the best childhood we didn't have a lot of money and of course growing up a queer kid in the south it was never going to be easy my family definitely transcendentally trans <laughs> not supportive and are not today that's when good i lived in south carolina one of my primary goals was to get out i decided to join the army um, i was in the army for six years during that time i was stationed at fort bragg north carolina um, deployed to Afghanistan. I was a Special Forces Medical Sergeant. When I went into the Army, don't ask, don't tell was still the law of the land. So you couldn't be queer in any capacity. In the military, I That's did good. some martial arts training, but it wasn't to the extent that we do here. You know, back in the day, people still understood right from wrong. They understood that certain things are normal and other things are not. This is not a judgment call, if you will, but it is understanding what is right, what is wrong, and therefore dealing with it yourself. But nowadays, we live in a weakened, demoralized society where we cater to your weaknesses, to your mental illnesses, to your spiritual sicknesses. We declare them normal. This is the new normal. The new normal is not only about the pandemic, of course. The new normal is a great reset. It's about re-engineering, brainwashing and establishing a new normal, essentially forgetting about all the universal norms. So back in the day when somebody was fat, was obese, they would have to struggle and overcome that. Because being fat is wrong. It is wrong for your biology, for your anatomy. It is not good. It is not healthy. So you try to overcome it. Nowadays, on the other hand, you will open up an Instagram page and you will get applaud from a billion other fat people and they will tell you how brave you are. Being confused about your gender is not good. It's not healthy. We have a suicide rate over 50%. But now they tell you, you are brave. You're facing some sort of struggle and it has to be embraced. It is pathetic. Before I transitioned, when I was on a team, you know, I could bench press over 300 pounds. I could deadlift the back end of a car. You know, I could run six minute miles going on HRT. That's hormone replacement therapy. I cannot do those things anymore. Yeah, but the point of the story is that you could. Let's see how you looked before. So that's Elena before being Elena. Talking about HRT, talking about lifting 300 pounds, it is likely that you've been on HRT even prior to becoming a female probably on testosterone or other anabolic steroids. Already being a man changes your physiology, your bone structure, your muscle structure, and it will stay with you for the rest of your life. No matter how much estrogen you're injecting afterwards, how many androgen blockers you take, that structure, that permanent muscle, that permanent bone tissue will stay the same. You will always have an unfair advantage over women because you are a man. Now I'm running like nine minute miles instead of sixes, you know. I yeah, you essentially castrated yourself. Obviously your performance will go down, but it's still better than a female. I have to train harder. I don't heal as fast. Like yeah, I want to fight the best that I can, the best in the world, in my weight class, in my gender. Frank your gender would be male. It, it's, it would be next to impossible for me to compete at a high level with men after going on hormones. My opponent, I know she's... Yes, that is true, but yet again, you still have an advantage over females. Tall, she's got you get long this. reach, 
she's primarily a striker. Um, I'm glad that she was brave enough to step up and take the fight, honestly, because I know how that's got to look for any potential opponent. Like one, <sighs> you're fighting a trans woman with no record, no tape for you to watch, who's a former special- But there you have it, a trans woman. And if you want to use that description, let's go with it. You are a trans woman then. You are definitely not a woman. Therefore, woman is not your gender. You just define it yourself. You are a man that is confused. And now you're taking that hate, that anger, that confusion out in the cage and you're beating up women. Special forces operator, like <laughs> on paper, like if I were a fighter's manager, I'd be like, no way, no way. I feel indebted to her for taking the fight in the first place. Like, I really appreciate it. It was a nightmare trying to find an opponent. I have nothing but respect for her, and I'm really excited for this fight. The more you hear from Alana McLaughlin, uh, the more you can respect the decision she's made, and not only that, with all the <laughs> Look at our cucked society, man. Combat global, and then you have those idiots respecting her. Respecting for what? Respecting for injecting estrogen and cutting off your pee, -pee? Instead of helping those people that have a 50-something percent suicide rate, we're gonna glorify them and fuel their anger. It is obvious that he has an issue with his parents. He hasn't resolved that daddy and mommy issue, and this is why he wants to be a she. That's it. My name is Alana McLaughlin. I'm fighting out of Portland, Oregon, and I'm fighting Celine Provo. That's not your name. This, this fight, it's not the most important one. The little detail that I missed out on, isn't it funny that the trans is a reversed cross? Those people always hate God. That's all this movement is about. But it's definitely one of the most important steps along the way. And, you know, I wasn't the first. Fallon already did this. Fallon Fox already did this. Unfortunately, I'm sure there's going to have to be a lot more pioneers following after us. But what's important is that... Pioneers. Guys, if you're such pioneers, build your own league. Why do gays have to get married in church? Even though in Leviticus it says you should surely put them to death. Why do you want to participate in such bigoted ideologies? Why do you want to be part of it? The answer is simple. It is always anti-God. That's it. You hate God. You directly come from the devil and you want to defy that natural order. It is always the same thing. This is not about some sort of pioneering work for trans people. This is about defying God. This is why you have the reversed cross. We open the door. We make space in the combat sports world, in, in sports in general, just in the world. So from me, what you can expect is uh, hard body shots, uh, heavy hands. And yeah, obviously heavy hands because you're a male. You know, I'm, I'm going to be front and center, interface, ready to throw down. That she was a former um, uh, military, uh, special forces, I guess, and that she used to be uh, a man. Uh, so I was glad to have an opponent. Used to be a man. What happened? Now all of a sudden he's not anymore? Because she said so. Whatever it is, I don't care. Wow, make believe. Celine, I am honored to fight you and I appreciate you taking this fight, but don't have any illusions. I'm coming in there to knock you out. Well, Alana, <laughs> uh, see you in the cage and uh, may the best win. Uh, may the best whatever win. Uh, and all he does is throw that over right hand to the big guys. McLaughlin's got the back. All right, and this is how it ended. Deep. And the attack. attack. Alana McLaughlin victorious in her Congrats. MMA debut via the Congrats, dude. You beat a girl. Rear naked choke had to take a lot of pressure to get there, but she did. Oh, that was a game plan, and it worked to her advantage. Kudos to Celine, she took the fight, and kudos to Alana right now. I'm wow! Alright, and this is it for today's video. I had enough. We just watched a man beating up a woman, and we decided that he is a she, and it is very, very brave to do so. I love how feminism is imploding. It is absolutely beautiful to see. This is what feminism led to. Now you have men identifying as women, <laughs> and you have to glorify them, you have to pay your tributes and your respect respect and in turn they're gonna beat you up just to show you that men are stronger than women 
Congrats, welcome to 2021. Absolutely beautiful. All right, guys, but this is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, leave it a thumbs up or two. If you haven't subscribed already, guys, please do so. And if you want to support this channel, have a look, check out the description box. All the links are there for you. All right, but this is it, as always. May God bless you all. Much love and peace.